Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, this is the one hour chart of gold. And finally, we got to see some retracement after hotter than expected inflation. So market was around 2177-2180 and market was flat. But right after the news, we got to see a drop and for market made a low of around 2151. And we can see the market is showing a small upside right now. So we can expect that in the coming days, okay, now we may get to see further retracement on the chart of gold. See, if you're a positional trader, then obviously gold is bullish and gold will always be bullish for you. If you are a positional trader, I'm not talking about swing traders and I'm not talking about day traders. If you're a positional trader, if you hold your positions for a couple of months to a couple of years, then obviously you should be you should be um, buying on gold because experts are believing that if you uh, read articles, you'll see that experts are believing that by the end of the year, gold will hit around 2500. 2500. <laughs> okay, it's far away. Okay, I don't want to think about it right now. But overall, gold is bullish. And if you're a swing trader or position trader, obviously you need to respect the present trend of the market and you need to make your decisions accordingly. So at this moment, okay, at this moment, as a swing trader, if you are having a buy position or if you just took a buy position as a day trader, okay, you can exit below 2150. Why you can exit below 2150? Because we have discussed yesterday also. 2150 to 2145 is a strong support. If market breaks this level here, then market will be heading towards 2120. See, having patience is a virtue, but you should also know when to exit from the position. So if you're a positional trader, if you think that I will not exit, okay, until unless gold reaches 3000 level, that's a different thing. Okay, but swing traders usually do not have that kind of patience. So if you are a swing trader or day trader and you are having a buy position and if you see gold going below 2145, 2150, you can exit. And if you have a sell position, okay, obviously you will be very happy because you will get a chance to exit from your trap trades. What trades? Trap. And let's look at the market sentiment. Dollar steady says traders way hotter than expected inflation. US dollar held steady against a handful of rival currencies on Wednesday as traders wait what impact hotter than expected inflation data could have on chances of an interest rate cut as the Federal Reserve's June meeting. Dollar rises slightly after a hawkish US CPI report. You can see here, my dear friends. Dollar index saw support after market slightly dialed back expectations for Fed rate cuts over the next several meetings after Tuesday's CPI report. So this data has given some hope to DXY chart and we saw that DXY was trying to recover. But when we were um, discussing about the resistance of 103 to 103.20, my dear friends, trust me, I did not expect at all that this level would work at the time of news. That's why I told you that be careful at the time of news. But surprisingly, this level worked at the time of news and we can see the market is still struggling. So things are not very positive for DXY. Yesterday, we got to see an upside on DXY. But is the up move continuing? No. Was the up move very big? No. So if DXY breaks 103.30, we can expect some more upside. But this, go, this road is not going to be easy for the US dollar index. Okay, so on every step, okay, on every step, there will be sellers and who will be trying to push DX towards the downside. Now, let's look at the trading opportunities for gold. Then, the number of trading opportunities are not very much. So, again, I'm repeating if you are having a sell position, obviously, you are happy right now because market is going down and if we look at the market structure we can see the market is forming lower highs so yes further downside is possible and if you're having a buy position as a swing trader day trader you can exit if you see gold going below 2145 because if gold breaks 2145 further downside is also possible and as a day trader if you're looking for trading opportunities then i see three trading opportunities on the chart of gold right now let me explain one by one. 
this is the first trading opportunity this is the second trading opportunity and this is the third trading opportunity so if you see gold breaking 2145 okay if you see gold breaking 2145 you can look for a sell if you see the market is going down with a big red candle you can hit the sell button at first you can target 40 pips after 40 pips if you see the selling pressure is high then also you can continue with your sell position otherwise at first target 40 pips because if the structure of the market is changing then market is forming lower highs and lower lows and in this type of market condition which is the best trading strategy sell on rise okay so sell on rise you can see i have also marked here but at first if you see that goal is going below 2145 level you can hit the sell button below it but if you see this uh, market is taking somewhere, uh, taking support somewhere around 2150 to 2148, okay, you can also look for a buy as well. Single level, but two trading opportunities. You can also go for a buy if market bounces, if market breaks it with a um, heavy selling volume, you can go for a sell below it as well. And if market breaks 2145 level, the next support on the chart of gold will come around 2125 to 2126. This the line here that I have marked. Why? Because you can see we have FIBO 38.2% retracement level along with that uh, previous um, also support around this area. So if market base 2145 level then obviously at one point market will be trying to take support as a day trader. Okay, as a day trader we can look for a buy around 2125, 2126. But in case you see the market is bouncing for 200 moving average. Okay, see this is a dynamic support. What support? 200 moving average. If you want then you can add if you see market market is taking support around 200 moving average you can also go for a buy why i'm saying this because we do not have any major event for the day and we can expect that market will not be too crazy and the volatility of the market will be mm, normal throughout the day so that's why we can expect that our levels may work if they come to it but yes if you trade on the middle of the chart there's a high chance of getting trapped okay so structure of the market is slowly changing overall trend is bullish undoubtedly but at present we can see the structure of the market is changing so yes in, in the next few days we may see some sort of selling or you can you can also say that we may see a deep retracement on the chart of coal so we need to trade accordingly this is our second trading opportunity if market takes support okay but on the other hand if you if we see gold going up in that case okay in that case you can look for a sell around 2173 or around 2174 2173 why because you can see the previous support will be working as resistance along with that we have the dynamic resistances and if the volatility of the market remains like this especially during the asian session and european session we can expect a selling pressure as well but in case gold sh starts shooting up and you see gold is going above 2175 then the market structure will be confusing again <laughs> so at present uh be careful let's hope for the best we uh, we can just see that we there is a small transition no confirmation yet and if you are confused <laughs> okay i'm extremely sorry gold loves to trap traders okay this is not my fault okay okay in short overall trend of the market is bullish but the present trend of the market is slowly changing towards the downside no confirmation yet but yes we can see transition because of the change in the structure of the market so during the day especially during the asian session if market bounces from 2150 level you can look for a quick buy position but as the structure of the market is changing there's a high chance that market may break 2145 level if that happens you can look for a sell below it the next support on the chart of gold is around 2126 2125 as a day trader you can hit the buy button if market takes support how much you can expect 40 pips on the other hand if gold starts going up especially during the asian session and european session you can look for a sell around 2173 level if market reverses okay and in case market breaks the level suppose you see that goal is standing at 2173 with a big green candle do you think you should go for a sell obviously no in that case okay in that you should avoid and if that happens then things will be confusing again and if we look at the lower time frame also 15 minutes time frame we can see trading opportunities are not very much market is consolidating 
And if you love to take some risks, you can look for a sell around 2166. How? Where? 2166. But personally, I will not recommend for beginners because this is not a very reliable level. And my dear friends, uh, if you are looking for Hindi videos, if you have Hindi videos, then this is our Hindi channel. You can subscribe. The uh, link will be in the description. Mein mil Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.